This piece is a music video poem. The speaker's spoken text is rendered in open captions throughout. And when the speaker stutters, the syllable he's stuttering on is rendered in repeated letters. So if the speaker is stuttering on the word the, the open captions show th, 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 filling the screen for the duration of the stutter. The video begins on a black screen. White text appears over the black background and reads, even song. I'm in Brooklyn, New York, on lands stolen from indigenous. The speaker appears on the screen. He is a black man with a beard and nappy hair. He's looking directly at the camera. He's sitting in a living room with a lamp, a chair, and the background. Indigenous, there are maps on the wall. Tribal nations, including the Lenape and Canarsi. And in this piece, I'll be engaging with music I made when I was an artist in residence at McDowell in what is now known as New Hampshire on land stolen from indigenous tribal nations, including the Abenaki, the Penacook, and nations from the Wabanaki, Confederacy. Whenever I engage in a act of verbal verbal communication with a new listener or a new audience like you I consider well whether I'm going to whether I'm going whether I'm going to preface the way I speak whether I'm going to pre-voice the way I speak I speak with a stutter and the way the stutter usually manifests is something called a glottal block which is when there is a stoppage in my speech. In this piece, the stutter is transcribed. The stutter is a musical instrument. On the screen appears a video screenshot of a computer and a text program typing the lyrics. I am in the grasses, I am in the evening, I am in the grasses, I am in the evening, over and over. In the bottom right hand corner of the screen, 
the speaker is at the same desk in the same apartment, but it is now daytime. The speaker is wearing headphones and has his eyes closed. Shortly, the speaker will speak again. He will speak into the microphone in the bottom corner of the screen. I made this music while I was a fellow at McDowell in the spring of 2019. I'm listening to it as I speak. The screen goes black. White text appears that reads, We came to listen to the grasses. The Timothy exclamation point. Orchard grass, two exclamation points. Big and little blue stem, three exclamation points. The music you're hearing now, I created using a process called The speaker appears on the screen again in the same living room. Cut to a shot of a hummingbird flying in slow motion. Granular synthesis. We return to the speaker. In the Using my room. computer, I took the recording I made at McDowell and split it into tiny snippets of sound. Called grains. On the screen appears another screenshot. I can rearrange these grains. To make new music. The screenshot shows a music software with graphic colored slash marks moving in time to the music. In the lower right hand corner the speaker appears seated in the same living room at a different time of day. On the screen appears a, a microscope of what seem to be cells. The microscope's view is in a circle. The top part of the circle is broken off at the top of the screen. White text appears that reads, Mature anther of a lilium flower with pollen grains inside. Oh, fuck. The microscope oh, you have vanishes. Hollow it be thy name. Oh, fuck. Forgive me. Forgive me from the cloud. The open captions are out of sync with the speaker's voice.
screen is black throughout this section. White text appears that reads, we came to ask the anthers. When I make a piece of music, the music, the speaker appears in the same living room. passes through me. It's a seed I plant. The seed grows, mostly unobserved. At a certain point, flowers appear and with them cut to the speaker playing saxophone in the same living room anthers the part of the flower that houses is pollen. When I use granular synthesis on the music, it's as if the anther opens, releases the pollen. The sound Carried, cut to a black screen, not by wind or water or mason bee or ruby-throated hummingbird, but by the silence that authorizes and protects all music. What new sounds already live in the one sound? Cut to another screenshot of a computer screen showing music software with a cursor moving through musical notation in time. The speaker is in the lower right hand corner in the same living room. With headphones on, shirtless, he dances.
fingers in fresh air. Her face, your face, oh Father, oh tender, oh yeah, oh weed, oh laying aside, oh dwelling. Cut to white text on the black screen that reads Even Song, a composition by Jerome Ellis. Thank you, James Harrison Monaco, for being with me on the phone. Thank you, Nell Painter, for the conversation. Thank you, McDowell, for the support. A bar appears at the bottom of the screen that is a mouse cursor scrubbing through the video. The author and speaker in the right hand corner. 